Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Main Show. My name is Tyler Main, and we are going to be exploring everything from horror to heavy metal. Come on, let's go see a friend of mine. We are here at ESP Guitars. Jeff Kendrick from Devil Driver said, come on down and check things out. And I see Jeff's coming here right now. Hey, how you doing, Good, Jeff? Good, buddy. How you doing? Great. I know the real reason is ESP heard me shred on the last episode with you guys, and they want to make my own line of guitars, right? That's why we're really here? <laughs> no. C come on, man. Just think about this. A, a six-foot guitar. It'd be great. We can have a big and tall line of guitars for big shredders like myself. <laughs> what do you think? Come on, man. Come on. No. Come on. You can hook me up. A six-foot guitar. That would be so badass, man. I mean, I could just shred out on there with you. Well, actually, they can build anything you want. So maybe if we See? go in and chat with them, maybe they can uh, do something. But I don't know about your own line. That's reserved for the guys. The main who... line. <laughs> the main show. <laughs> Maybe. The main event. Always I, mean, I, got, I got all these names we can go through. So so we're going to go meet Alan here, right? And yeah. We, we can run this by him, right? You're, you're going to help me here, right? We'll, we'll see what we can do. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Six foot guitar. It'd be, <laughs> oh, it'd no. be awesome. I don't know, man. I don't know. Come on, seriously. Think about it. Hey, hey, welcome Alan. to ESP, guys. How you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Alan Tyler, Tyler Allen. Hey, Alan. Thanks pleasure for having my main show down here. I appreciate this more than you know. Uh, it's our pleasure. Want to go see some guitars? Let's go do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Didn't we come in here with somebody else? Yeah, uh, Tyler. Tyler. Let's, uh, let's go, buddy. Hey, they're working on guitars here. Oh, this is so go, cool. Come on. Did he, did he tell you about my idea? So you are telling me that all these boxes are full of guitars? Every single one has a guitar and or bass in from every one of our factories. How cool is that? Even though they come from the factories, already stamped, quality control, we pretend that that doesn't even exist and we go through them again. So you double check them and we, recheck them we and make sure that they're... Pretty much by the time the guitar leaves here, it's been gone through four different times. At ESP, the cool thing about the quality is, is that even the slightest little nick on a guitar never sees the light of day. Wow. We have, as you can see, a tech staff that go through each and every guitar individually. And the cool thing is, is we have one of Jeff's guitars actually up on the bench right now that's uh, being Jeff's. worked on. And that is so very cool. The, uh, I see it right there. Yep. Dude, that's your guitar. That's He's that's working it. on that's your guitar. How that's, cool is that's that? Your, that's your new one. They, yep. they, they finally came in. Jeff, why don't you run us through a couple of the special features that you had put on your signature series? Absolutely. Well, it's a... Uh, you want to just throw it up here? Yeah, toss it up there for you. 25 and a half inch scale for 22 frets, which is kind of different. Um, string through body. I had them put the extra bit of wood um, on, the, on the, um, the guitar to make it the full eclipse, uh, like the full body. Um, there's a devil driver inlay, which is that, on the 12th fret. Um, and then diamond inlays for everything else, where the dots would normally be. EMG 81, EMG 81, volume and tone, three-way switch, basically ready to rock. It's gonna be great. Speaking of which, we, he called in an order for you to have a guitar. Really? And, uh, you, you told him about the six foot guitar? Yeah, I did. Anna, why don't oh, you, uh, man. can you pull that off the wall? That is so cool. Bam. Here you go, bro. It's for you. Dude, I, wait, dude, that is not what? a six foot guitar. That That is not six foot. What did you but, write down on the, when you? I might have put the wrong units in. I might have put inches instead of feet. Th this is like a ukulele, dude. What am I supposed to you do? You can start with it. It's a hell of a belt buckle. <laughs> 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 there we go. Oh. That was very funny, guys. Thanks, man. I'm yep. not laughing. <laughs> this is our main man that works on everybody's guitars from Metallica to Slayer to the more custom, high-level guitars that we have go through this shop. And this is Renee's area and the other people that work in here with him work on mostly artist custom models. Very and cool. right now we have a great example because we, we have one of the world's biggest trade shows coming up 
this week, and it's called Nam. <laughs> Most guitars that are out there that have graphics are decaled, and we are fortunate enough to have an unbelievable artist by the name of Chris Comston that does all of this by hand. How long would it take him to, to do one of these? Uh, generally, on something like this, probably about four or five months just on the art. Depends on how intricate the... Depends on how intricate the art, but I mean, we've we've had pieces that have literally taken him almost a year to complete, based on the really? detail of the art that goes into the pieces. So, you know, basically, you're looking at it's a one of a kind of guitar, and we really show these to tell people and let them see what ESP is capable of actually doing. So there's no dream that we can't actually put on a guitar, but yeah. you know, everything is whatever someone can think up you could do and we've had pretty much much a line like that a long time ago if you could dream really? it we can build it very so cool these are the examples that we use at the trade shows more than anything i'm very proud to have these guys in here that work on these guitars for everybody because they don't come back they go out perfect and it's I'll that type of that quality too. so renee when you get done with this guitar you just take and put that in my car <laughs> All right, and I'll drive it to Nam for you. I promise. I swear to God. Ah, I'll, I really, I'll, 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 I'll even get the phone for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, yeah, everyone's you know, on lunch. Go ahead. What everyone's at lunch. What do you do? Good afternoon, ESP. They hung up. <laughs> you scared them, <laughs> man. Scared. Okay, hey, I'm just trying to help out around here. Okay, okay. it was probably James Hetfield too. <laughs> yeah. you know? The one time he Great. called. Tyler the one, the one time he called. You know. <laughs> And now you're getting ready for NAM. Now we're getting 2011, ready for 2011, that must be just crazy around here, right? That's been nuts. That pretty much takes everybody off of what they're doing for like two months. Yeah. To where we are just going nuts. There we go. See, there it goes. <laughs> So, oh, you know. is that how you handle the artist oh, well, calls? <laughs> see, I talk so fast that you didn't even. We hear didn't it. pick that up. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, phones go off all the time, obviously. But one of the yeah. main things that we try to do here is just make sure that all the artists are taken care of and well right. represented. So then, now you're going to head to Nam pretty quick to set that all up and get that all ready, right? Yeah, hold on. He's just going to keep calling. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. Oh, okay, no problem. Very cool. That's cool. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We just... I'm glad I picked up the phone because that was the president in the other guy's office. <laughs> Very cool. So that worked out. Now, hey, when you are on the main show, I have some rapid fire questions that I got for you. So you want to be a part of the rapid fire? Let's do it. Fire All right. away. Okay, here we go. First question is. First concert ever? Pink Floyd The Wall, when I was six years old with my brother. Rockstar Red Bull? Monster. Oh, Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Trek. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. There we go. Autobots or Decepticons? Autobots. Mac or PC? Mac. Marvel or DC? DC. Jimmy Page or Jimi Hendrix? Page. Page all the way. Wolverine or Lobo? The main man, Lobo. There we go. And we have another edition of the rapid fire questions for the main show. Okay, so now we have seen how the guitars are put together. What else can you show us uh, here at ESP? At the ESP, the, the end result of what all of this comes down to. And that would be the president's office. Let's go. So this is the president's office here. This is the president's office. And there's no better place in this building to show the successes of some of our best artists than the president's office. And so as you can see behind me, we've got the Metallica uh, plaques, we've got Slayer, we've got Deftones. Over here, he's got the Rolling Stones. We've had the great privilege over 35 years to work with just some of the world's best artists. and. You know, of course, right. some of those real classic pieces and some of those won't 
first time prototypes end up in here. And as you can see to my left, this should be one of the most recognizable guitars on earth. This is the Ouija guitar played by Kirk Hammett from Metallica. And we're very happy that we have, we've made a couple customs for ourselves, but these are the personal ones that are hanging in the president's office. And these are the ones you'll be seeing Kirk play and have seen Kirk play throughout the years. Um, as you can see, this is an obvious trophy room, and so you have special things that were signed to our president from Johnny Cash, and you know, next to that you have a Slayer plaque, and so this is just this is the room that uh, where the goals have all come to come to be. So for us, it's very very cool to have all these guitars in here, and one of the most amazing guitars that will ever be seen, and just once, and there's only one. And this was a hand-painted guitar by Chris Comston, who's the same gentleman that did the hand-painted guitar that we viewed earlier. Other custom graphics where we've tried to, you know, mimic some of the old posters from the Fillmore days. And the one guitar that everybody knows from the earlier years is the James Hetfield Grinch. And that guitar has been all over the world. Hopefully one day Jeff and uh, you know Mike's guitars will end up in uh, yeah. you know the president's office and and they'll be proudly displayed as well. But that's what we hope for out of all of our artists and definitely it's a success for for them, for us, our consumers, our end users. And so you're playing. saying if I pop out an ESP guitar, you show me those licks on all access. Yeah, and I can have. One of mine up here, you think? That'd be only, cool. Only if you join Metallica. <laughs> then you can have your Metallica plaque up here. You know them. You think they'd do it? You think they'd let me on stage? At least once? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's cold! <laughs> how, how about Devil Driver, huh? Uh, Come on, you, you, you heard me maybe. shred. I can it's, shred. It's kind of reserved for really special people. Alan's actually made it up there before. You've made it up? He's made I, it up I've else. had the privilege to play the encore song on the last date of the Ozfest tour with Double yeah. Driver at the Key Club. Wow! It was one of my definite big moments in life to get out there and rock the stage, sold out house at the Key Club with Double Driver. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna practice. To I'm gonna practice. So someday. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Okay. I didn't. You know, I'm not gonna promise anything either way. But you get. You know, get the guitar and start going, and we'll see from there. You know. And they gave me 15 cool. minutes to learn the song yeah. and threw me on stage. Yeah. So, you know, these guys don't work slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know heard them play. I mean, they, 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 they got uh, up-tempo going. That stuff's cracking. Donald Driver's driving fast. That's they are. Sure. <laughs> they are. Yeah, we're not in the slow lane. We're in the fast lane. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much. I mean, oh, it's been our pleasure. This, this is just insane. I have had such a great day. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you letting the main show in here today and taking the time. And I know you're off to Nam here pretty quick. Hopefully oh, yeah. you can get some rest and I will see you there. Absolutely. See you at Nam and thank you. All right. Jeff, may your guitar end up in here yes. real soon, yes. my friend. Yes. No, seriously, Jeff, come on, a six-foot-tall guitar for big and tall line, that'd be cool. No, man, we've already been over this, no. Oh, come on, let's, come on. We're going to go into ESP, we're going to show you around. Come on, follow me, we'll see what we can do for you, all right? But seriously, a six-foot guitar no, would be cool. I already told you. Oh. All right, let's go. Hit the door. Hey, this is Alan from ESP Guitars, and I just want to say thanks to the main show for coming by and hanging out.